I'm done. Say hi, YouTubers. Can you say hi? No. Okay. So, Jaden will probably be popping in the video off and on. He's my helper today. I did the paleo update. We are on day 40. Um, we have been pretty much a little bit more relaxed the last 10 days. Sorry. But we are on day 40. The two days that I have been lit were more lax, some of the things I've eaten. Um, I've still continued to stay out of the gluten. Um, have had dairy ones, and that was a mistake and a half. Um, I gained weight that next day. Like, my body is seriously hates me if I eat gluten. So, guess who's not eating gluten ever again? Me. Um, I did gain a little bit more weight, too, when I ate some of the gluten-free options that are out there that are made out of brown rice flour. So, I'm just destined to never have bread or substitute of bread. So I'll eat it if every now and then. Oh my gosh, you're making the camera shake. Um, but, can you sit here with us? Um, anyways, so I'll try that kind of stuff every now and then, but it's definitely not going to get to be a fixture of my life. Losing weight right now is way more important for me than the things that I eat. Um, there is a restaurant, a pizza place that's by us that has gluten-free crust. It's like four dollars more, but Wednesdays, um, it's four dollars off, so it's the same price as normal pizza. It's called Z Pizza. They're actually all like nationwide, so check it out if you have them. They also have the Daya cheese or whatever it's called. That's not a soy cheese and it's not a dairy cheese. I don't even really know what it's made out of, but it was good. So I had like a barbecue chicken pizza. I had like chicken and onions and tomatoes and barbecue sauce, which probably had sugar in Mommy. it. Um, it's so really not paleo friendly. Um, my husband had like some Mommy. Tuscan pizza, Mommy. so it was like all of. Shh, look, mommy's making a movie. Can you say hi? Hi. Um. That's Jaden. Yep, that's Jaden. You're right. Um. Um. <laughs> but it was really good. My husband had a Tuscan one, so I had like olive oil. Um, feta cheese, basil, and garlic on it. S took a bite of it. It was pretty good. Get the kiddo some cheese. Since he's not really paleo friendly right now, we're trying. Um, but it's going pretty good. I have officially lost 25 pounds since August 1st. So in 40 days, I've lost that. So... In figuring out my totals and such, I'm almost averaging like 6.6 .6 pounds a day. So if my body continues to go at that rate, which it probably won't, but if it does, it will take me about two more months to get down to where I want to be. And it's definitely not my dream goal weight, but it's definitely a lot better than what I'm at right now. Um, I really need some new clothes. Um, I don't have to dress up very often for work, but I do once a month we have meetings. And my only black pants I have are my maternity pants. Not only are they maternity pants, but they're two sizes too big maternity pants. So I need to go find some black pants. I just don't want to spend any money on pants that don't aren't going to fit for very long. And I've learned to like clothes mentor and stuff, but they have grandma pants. Like, you know what I'm talking about, grandma pants that like pretty much come up to your boobs and they end at your knees. Yeah, those kind of pants. Yeah, those are the kind of pants that I've been able to find. So I'm going to go look somewhere else. Um, it's been kind of fun. I got to order two new bras, and my bras are really old. Like I wear them for two years, pretty much, until they fall apart. I got to get. I have to get some new ones because the ones I have are too big. Um, the weight that I've lost a lot, you know, a good chunk of it, like four inches, four and a half inches off my waist. But the most that I've actually lost are in my legs kind of weird but like my thighs have slimmed down a lot I still have like extra flab there that I need to get rid of but that's where a lot of it's come off like all my pants are fitting loose there things that used to be tight are now loose like my yoga pants are really loose so I need to get new yoga pants um to the point where when I walk around they fall off so that's kind of exciting um I was actually able to get a pair of yoga pants from American Eagle their airy store and any of you that have ever been plus size in your life that's a huge accomplishment because um stores like that don't cater to people that have curves that are bigger so I was able to get a pair of pants like there and they're not like suction cups to me they're actually fit me well um, and they don't fall off when I whack so I'm gonna get some more I'm kind of excited I kind of want to get some more from Victoria's Secret because I loved mine from Victoria's Secret they make the best kind so we're doing really well um 
what I've been doing a lot is trying to stay pretty consistent in what I eat. I'm not getting bored with it. I just switch it up a little bit. Breakfast, again, I have eggs. Um, I buy the frozen chopped onions and green peppers in the freezer section at the store. Throw those in a pan with some garlic and some spinach and some mushrooms. Saute them down, and then I just throw the egg right in there and make, like, one big scramble. Why are you pulling my hair? Make, like, one big scramble. And my favorite thing right now at Costco is to buy their Julian um, sun-dried tomato. Don't buy them at a store because it's like five bucks for like a fourth of the size. And it's seven bucks for a huge bag at Costco. Um, so I put some of that in there for a little bit of sweet. It does have sugar in it. It is a tomato. And then I do put a little tiny bit of mustard on the top. That's what I have for breakfast. Lunch, my favorite thing right now is tuna. So I do take tuna and I mash up some avocado, like half an avocado, and I put it in there. And then I either put some brown mustard or a little bit of cider vinegar in there. And that's pretty good. And I eat that with spinach and onion. So there's some crunch. So you don't you can, don't have to miss the bread and the crackers that you might have used. And then dinner, we have something really simple. Like the other day, was so good, we made spaghetti squash. Spaghetti, so spaghetti squash with tomato sauce. Not like pasta, not like spaghetti sauce because a lot of that has crap in it. But like actual to tomato sauce with a lot of spices and ground turkey. And it was really good, I was so skeptical. I mean, obviously it doesn't taste like pasta, but it was actually pretty good. So, we'll probably make that a lot. Again, I found a recipe to use bacon for like, you like lay it in strips, and then it folds up and you use it as a taco shell. So I got bacon, a good chunk of bacon to make that kind of stuff. Um, but as I think about it, that sounds like a lot of work. It's not going to just be able to just lay down on a sheet. It's going to have to be like lined up, like lined up and like folded. And I just, I'm trying to keep things simple here. So I'll probably try that. Um, we eat a lot of chicken breasts. Costco, if you have a Costco, it's where it's at. They have organic chicken and organic beef. They have grass-fed beef. Um, they have it frozen even, not just fresh. It's the cheapest I've seen besides if you can get it cheap from a, directly from a farm. So the chicken comes in like little packages with a few chicken breasts in each one. So we just use that. Well, they put some seasoning, grill it, put it in a crock pot. Um, it's just nice and easy. And then like frozen vegetables, bags, steamer ones, doing that kind of stuff. So keeping it simple. I don't count my calories. I did add it up once and I actually was really consuming not very, very much. So I did start adding some nuts to my diet because I am breastfeeding still. So... It's been a lot of fun. I'm totally enjoying it. Actually, you'd never think that limiting that kind of stuff is fun, but it's a lot of fun to step on the scale every day and see a result of some sort. You're not supposed to weigh yourself every day, but that's how I've really learned what my body reacts to and what it doesn't. If you weigh it once a week, you have no idea what your body's reacting to. Like, it could have been, oh, I ate too much, or, oh, I ate too little, or was it the rice flour that made me bloat or was it that I ate too much water? Am I retaining water? Like you never know. So I do weigh myself every day and it's an encourager to me whether I'm losing weight or I'm not. It just shows me to keep going. So, um, you know, you don't really notice that you're skeptical of yourself. You don't really always see that you're losing weight, but people around me are finally starting to see it. So it's been a lot of, of fun experiencing that and it's just great. I keep having dreams of being skinny again. So, yeah, if you have questions, leave a comment below. Thank you for subscribing, keep watching, and I'm always open to more insight into the paleo lifestyle or how you're choosing to lose weight. Keep me accountable. Talk to you later. Bye.